After almost 30 years of developing trade systems with options, I've developed a system that wins by being non-directional. And this is a zero BS trade alert program where I trade alongside you and share my net liquidation account value. If you want to preserve your capital and outperform the S&P 500, then you're in the right place. This video is about a proprietary options trade I developed called the Premier Level 5 Trade Alerts, or sometimes referred to as the PL5. The system outperforms the S&P, which is not a small feat, and I will get into how and why it outperforms later in the video. So welcome, my name is Carl Dom, and I'm the only trader on YouTube that shares my real P&L, which means I share my net liquidation value and my maximum daily drawdowns. So why am I different? Well, I don't hide my losing trades and only share my winners. I can't hide anything when I share my net liquidation value. Why don't other instructors share their net liquidation value? Well, it's because they would be exposed. Ever notice how none of the other instructors ever talk about one another or say anything negative about one another? It's because they all have something to hide and they all play the same game. They all know they need to hide their P&L and hide their large drawdowns. They all know not to get on a competitor's bad side in order to prevent from getting exposed. Can you imagine if they had to share their P&L? Their sales would be zero. Okay, so just because I share my P&L does not mean that I know what I'm talking about. So not only do I share my P&L, but I'm also profitable. And if you don't already know, I turn $110,000 into $202,000 in 30 months on YouTube while sharing my P&L and daily drawdowns every month. And this is not because I was in a bull market. And to prove that, in the first six months of 2022, of course, you know the market's been down, with my synthetic dragon system, I'm up over 13%. Can anyone that is not front running claim that kind of proven success by showing their P&L? I say no. Now, before I get into the Premier Level 5 trade system, I want to clear out the people that I believe need more experience before joining. So here are seven reasons to not join the Premier Level 5 trade alerts. Number one, if you've not traded options for at least a year, I believe you do not have the experience to be able to put on the trade structure and follow the trade plan. Number two, if you think you can double your money every month or even every year, if you're doubling your money every year, your risk level is too high and eventually you're at risk of blowing up your account. And the PL5 is not for you. Number three, if you don't believe risk-adjusted returns are the key to making money, then the PL5 is not for you. If you're willing to draw down 50% in a position in order to make 10%, you're playing with fire. And I believe in order to gain more experience, you need to keep doing that until it stops working. Because large drawdowns in an account are not the way to go. Now, this situation happens a lot with the traditional wheel strategy. And if you have not figured out that the traditional wheel strategy does not work and you're okay with the large drawdowns, then you're not ready for the Premier Level 5 trade alerts. Number four, if you believe you can pick a direction of an underline and manage money around that and be consistently profitable, then this is not for you. In other words, day trading. Notice I did not say underlines do not trend. They do trend but managing money around that and being consistently profitable is the hard part. You may know someone that's doing it because you think they are because they're not showing their P&L. And I've heard this so many times, but I want to know if you are personally doing it and if you're willing to share your P&L. Because if not, I don't believe anyone is doing it. And I've yet to find proof, unless they're front running, of course, I have yet to find proof. Now, if you believe day trading is the way to go, then the PL5 is not for you. The number five reason, 
If you believe high win rates is the key to success, then the PL5 is not for you. Just because you win 90% of your trades does not mean that you're making money. If you don't understand this, then you're not ready for the Premier Level 5 trade alerts. And the number six reason, if you believe trading small and trading often with many different trade structures creates a non-directional profitable trade system, you're not ready for the PL5. This option premium selling system works until the market crashes and then all the assets become correlated and take down the account. If you're trading like this and you have not been through a crash or you don't understand what will happen in a crash, then you're not ready for the PL5. And number seven, this system uses span and or portfolio margin and the account minimum recommendation is $30,000. So if you've traded options for at least a year, but you don't understand span or portfolio margin, that's okay. You can learn about it and apply for it from your broker. But if you don't have the $30,000 in capital that's needed, you won't be able to follow the alerts. Now, if you disagree with any of these six points that I just made, or don't have at least 30,000 in capital, there's no reason to continue watching this video. Now, if you understand that outperforming the S&P on a risk adjusted basis is a worthy goal and a sign of an exceptional system, then you're in the right place. And this is the goal of the PL5. The premium level five trade alerts is a culmination of over 28 years of trading experience. And I've easily looked at over 500 different trade plan ideas and performed over 10,000 back tests to find this trade. This trade plan took well over 40 hours just to back test it. And it has similar characteristics to the synthetic dragon. Now that's the trade that I made that turned 110,000 into 202,000 in 30 months. But this trade has a different trade structure and it does have a very similar trade plan. And this means that management will be less than once a week, which gives the opportunity to trade less and live more. Now here's some back tests and forward tests of the Premier Level 5. Okay, looking at the back test for the Premier Level 5 trade system, you can see it averages about 11.5%. Maximum drawdown, 3.5. Sharpie ratio, 1.92. Sortino, 7.9. That's really high. That's really good. So this is a, you know, upside and downside. This is just uh, only downside taken into account. And then the Mar and the Calmar. So 3.24. That means you risk one dollar to make three dollars and twenty-four cents. So these are really good numbers. And you can see the uh, drawdowns on a monthly basis are very minimal. But then you the spike spikes higher look really nice. And then you can see the monthly performance starting from October of 2011. And you can't really see, these are monthly drawdowns, so you don't really see anything that's significant drawdowns. Uh, I know that recently we were down somewhere between three and 4% and the real live account. But the live account started back in April. As you can see down 3.55%, but it is uh, the middle of August right now and the account's totally recovered and it's actually up and I'm gonna show that to you next. But this will give you an idea of how the system works. Uh, very minimal drawdowns and uh, you'll see that uh, I'm very confident that this year will be up. Let's take a look at the uh, of the market in comparison to, you know, say this is down 3.55 all the way through the end of July. If we go to the market, we can see this is SPX. And um, here's the last day of the year. So let's go to the end of July right here and compare to so the beginning of the year. You can see the market's down 13.4% versus down around three, three and a half percent. And then you can also see what the lowest drawdown was for the year, which is approximately 23.7, almost 24%. And like I said, uh, we've been down maybe three to 4%. So you, it's just no real comparison when you have risk adjusted returns. That's really the key. Now looking at the actual account for the Premier Level 5, this account was started on April 8th, right here. Um, had a drawdown of uh, about 19%, currently down almost 8% on the S&P. Um, this account is up just almost 
you know, $600 would be 2%. So between 1.5% and 2% it is up, and you can see today's date is August 22nd. So it's kind of a mid to late August. You can see the accounts totally recovered were actually profitable. And those are the results. So you're comparing a 3 or 4% drawdown and about approximately a 1.5% one, one to 2% return versus the 19% drawdown and the 13%, negative 13%. So there's just no comparison. So I'm going to get into the graphs and why keeping your drawdowns low is the key and is very important. I'm going to get into the graphs about that next. Now here's why the trade works. First, if you've made it to this point in the video, I think you understand that there is an edge with options and the edge is selling options because implied volatility or the price of options is higher than realized volatility about 83% of the time. So there is an edge when selling options rather than buying them. And in my book, I go over the four market types for premium selling options traders. And the four market types are number one, the bull, number two, the sideways, number three, the grind down, and number four, the crash market. Now, each of these markets needs to be addressed for a successful trading system. Now, I back tested the PL5 from late 2011 to mid 2022, and I've looked at how many of each market types occurred in those time periods and how the PL5 did in each market type when compared to the S&P 500. So here are the graphs. So now looking at each individual market, you can see here since 2011, there's been one, two, three, four, five, six bull markets that have occurred from 2011 to present. And you can see how the S&P 500 actually outperformed the PL5. For example, in this bull market, the market was up 87% and the PL5 was only up 16. And you can see 9 and 13, 54, 19. So you can see there's, there's outperformance in a bull market. Uh, the PL5 does not outperform in a bull market compared to the S&P 500. But let me show you where it does outperform and why that's important. Here's what happens in a sideways market. So there was one significant sideways market since 2011, and that happened 2015, the beginning of the year to the middle of the year. You can see the market was only up 1.4%, but the PL5 was up almost 16%. So vastly outperforms on sideways markets. There's a ton of sideways markets, you know, one to two weeks, but I wanted to get something that was, you know, beyond that. There's probably a whole bunch of them in there. I just can't put them, you know, 50 sideways markets in here. And then let's look at the grind down market. There were three grind downs that occurred between 2011 and present. This particular one was early 2016. You can see the market was down almost 10 and a half where the PL5 barely budged, didn't move. Here's one that happened in 2018, down 20% almost, up 2% on the PL5. And uh, this grind down here in 2022, you can see they were down about 1.88 versus about 22%. And this is through June of 2022. Now, how did it do during the crash markets? So if we look at the crash markets, you can see there were three crash markets. I do want to stop here and talk about what happens in crash markets real quick. When the market crashes, it has that initial jolt down, say it goes down 4%. The PL5 also is going to go down 4%. Or if the market continues to trend down, the, the PL5 will go down with the market until the market levels off or goes higher, that's when the PL5 will recover very quickly, as opposed to the market that does not recover quickly. One in 2015, one in 18, and one in 2020. And you can see how the S&P was down significantly while the PL5 was up, again down while up, and again, we were, the S&P was down almost 34% while the PL5 was up 13.22% keeping these drawdowns low that's the key even if you get outperformed here in a bull market as long as you keep your drawdowns low overall you can outperform now the key to outperformance is lower drawdowns creating a better starting point it's like being on offense would you score more touchdowns if you were just always on offense if you were just only on offense or more goals in soccer if you had the ball longer, like more possession time. And that's what it's like when you keep the drawdowns low. 
Now, I will typically be doing adjustments on Monday or Friday mornings, in less than rare cases, when something urgent requires an adjustment during other times. I recommend making adjustments as soon as possible when I do, but most of the times it's okay to be able to follow the trades later in the same day or even the next day. I mean, this depends on whether you can get a price within about 5% of the price I get. The main advantage to the alert program is that the instructor, that's me, that created the trade structure and trade plan is guiding you on the most efficient way to extract the edge from the trade. If you trade this on your own, you run the risk of being margin called as margin can unexpectedly expand and cause serious losses. So the system again requires $30,000 minimum recommended capital and uses options on the forward slash ES, which requires span margin, or you can trade SBX with portfolio margin. And the cost is only $200 per month. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. And this premier level five alert system is an educational experience for my subscribers. And you can watch me trade this in real time and watch how I handle certain situations and it'll bring significant insight to the customer. To get started, just see the link in the description.